Um, all right, what's up? We're doing another complete guide today. Uh, the last one I had, uh, Valve announced some huge changes since then. So it's it's kind of wrong. Uh, now, it ships on the 25th of February. Uh, so I don't think there will be any more massive announcements or changes. Since I don't have one, and I won't have one for a while, uh, take everything I say with a grain of salt. I'm pretty sure I have a good idea of what the desktop mode at least will look like and how it will work. So if you've used Linux before, you know what this is. This desktop environment is called KDE Plasma. For you Windows people, um, this is pretty similar to Windows. So you have your clock, your date and time down here. You have a show desktop button, an arrow with more uh, utilities and stuff. You've got some sound options. You have your internet. Uh, there's edit mode. There's widgets and stuff you can add. There's, there's lots of custom ability with this and if you're focused on the desktop if you just start typing it'll search for programs and stuff you have and then down here uh this is basically this is pretty much a start button and then you have a settings menu to change all the settings you want to change and stuff now one of the big announcements that broke my last video was that the home and the root partition are separated and you have no access to the root partition by default now that means that um uh, that pacman isn't available by default that's arch linux's package manager if you don't know what any of that means don't worry about it but because of that uh they're using flat pack okay so I had to double check this, but this pretty much sounds like confirmation to me that Flatpak is installed. There's, you know, the method by which you do that, it can be a Flatpak or other software, uh, other method. All right, so I can't confirm 100%, but that sounds like me to me like Flatpak is installed uh, because Flatpak has a user mode so that you can write applications to the home directory only. So I don't know this for certain, but to download apps, we have this KDE application called Discover. Now, right now, I think this is what they'll do because it was pretty easy for me to do is they'll just use Discover for the GUI. And then you can see Flatpak right here and it's in user mode. So I have a GUI that writes only to the home directory and I can download any of the applications I want. So whatever you want, you want emulator, you go search for an emulator. There's lots of them in here. If you want Discord, you go search for Discord. You might have to use the terminal, but I really doubt it because it was really easy to get Discover set up to do this. I don't know why they wouldn't or use some sort of GUI. If they use any GUI at all, it'll be really similar to this. And I really doubt this, but if they do have you uh, go through the terminal, the syntax will kind of look like this. It will be flat pack dash dash user to put it in user mode. So you only touch the home directory and then install and then whatever the package name you're trying to install is. Now I really, doubt this will be the case uh but yeah hopefully this was helpful uh thanks for watching uh subscribe if you want more and i will see you later